but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith. Now here's, here's, the, here's the reality, here's the truth, okay, right? There are gains to be had. Like if you're good at something, you're going to get recognized for that. Paul, for example, was absolutely brilliant. Brilliant mind. And incredibly driven. I don't think you find a more entrepreneurial, startup kind of guy in the Bible. He traveled all over the place. He's starting church. This guy was brilliant and driven. You know, he, he's, he was of that kind of mold. He was going to make something of himself. And let's be honest. There are things to gain in that. You will gain recognition for the things that you're good at. The question is, what are you going to do with them? And are those things that you have, those abilities, talents, opportunities, gifts, are those about you, or is there another purpose behind them? And so Paul's not saying, hey, listen, you know, forget study and hard work. I'm going to spend the rest of my, my life in my jammies watching Jerry Springer to the glory of Christ because it doesn't matter anymore, right? He's not saying, like, well, forget about it. Be a lazy bum. Don't worry about developing the gifts, abilities, talents, and things that you have because there's no point to it. Praise be to God. I can be, I can eat ho-hos and cereal all day and never get out of my jammies. Right? Ho-hos. Why not? Maybe ice cream or a Danish if you prefer. He's not saying that. What he is saying is he, he's, he's saying, listen, Jesus is my identity. Jesus is the foundation of my life. Jesus is why I'm here. Jesus is who I live for. And the reason I have these abilities and skill sets and opportunities is not so that I might make much of me, because I'm not the point, but rather that I might make much about Jesus, because Jesus is my identity. Jesus is my firm foundation. Jesus is my rock, and all things, good, bad, and in between, are given to me that I might make much of him and not me. This is why he says, listen, whatever gain I had, I counted it as a loss. And in fact, I count all things as what? Rubbish. Rubbish. The actual word there means dumb. People matter that I might gain Christ. And have him. Because he is my good. He is my gain. He is my foundation. And I am in him. And he is my identity. And so Paul's saying, listen guys. If you think you've got confidence in yourself and your abilities, I've got far more than you. And I know where that's going. But there's another way. There's another way. And if I were to come to each one of you today and I had in one hand a lump of gold and the other a rock... And I would say to you, which do you want? Pick one. Which are you going to take? You're going to take the gold. If not, we need to talk. Right? Because <laughs> something's wrong. Well, my, my youngest son, Caden, he might take, he has a rock collection. He likes rocks. So he might, he might take the rock. But he's four. So he's got some. <laughs> but you're going to go for the thing of value, right? And here's, here's the reality. You want something that has what? Not just value, but lasting value. Lasting value unshakable value. <clears throat> and do you realize that whenever you choose to try and build your life on you and your abilities, you're, you're choosing the rock. You're choosing a worthless lump of clay that's going to in time fade into nothing and leave you with nothing. But if you choose Christ and He is your good and He is your gain and He is your glory and He is your purpose and He is your life and He is the source of your identity, you are choosing something that nothing can touch. So that, for example... You can come to this place where you realize that um, your opportunities and your abilities exist not to make much of you, but Jesus. So that, and here's the important part, so that you begin to see that you are not what you do. You are not what you do. And maybe you need to say that I am not what I do. My identity and worth and value is not predicated based upon, built on what I do. Those things have no bearing on who you are. Because who you are is not what you do, but rather, in Christ, you are who he says you are. And so sometimes we need to remind ourselves, I am not what I do, but I am who Jesus says I am.